so this is my latest project. This is a homemade server rack. Um, I uh, didn't really have room for a full one, so uh, and I got some new equipment, <clears throat> and I didn't have room uh, in the bonus room where I had my old equipment. Uh, and also, these were a little more loud. These uh, servers are a little more loud, so my plan was to put them uh, down here in the crawl space in the dungeon and uh, the problem I ran into or the problem I was going to run into was the uh, the dust because obviously it's the wood chop down here so um, this was my this was my solution uh, it runs a steady eh, you can see right here uh, what are we running 64 degrees and 64 degrees and 53 percent humidity it'll get up to 70 sometimes uh, in the summer um, but I do have the dehumidifier and it seemed to take care of uh, most any uh, humidity problems I have so uh, got my sand down there uh, 8 terabyte um, I've already got uh, eight different servers running on that. Um, and this is the host um, that's doing all that. It's just the Dell R710. Um, got a little UPS and a Cisco small business switch and it's pretty messy right now. I haven't cleaned it up. But <clears throat> what I was gonna show you is what I had to do. Um, of course, I can't really do a whole lot of the actual structure but you can see right here uh, it goes all the way to the back um, down here um, just sitting on some rails I think the original design was two by fours and of course I did sixes um, and I'll show the filters what I'm my plan was to put filters everywhere there's gonna be one right there uh, two down here and two in the front Again, pretty messy right now, but kind of get the idea of what's what's going on. Um, it does have a dedicated circuit. Uh, I uh, the only other thing on that is a little PC and receiver that I use to play music in here, which is right there. But uh, and I'll show the after I clean it up, I'll show where the filters are. But I used caulk to. Uh, seal up any of the joints that way I can create as much dust as I want in here once the filters get in it should catch everything um, I still have my uh, trunk line going up there it goes into my office uh, another one goes to the living room I've got an access point down here all of that is running into the switch right here um, <clears throat> So right now I have just booted it up. So go upstairs, verify everything's up, clean a little bit, and uh, come back down and show you what the filter's in. All right, looks like everything's working. Uh, fully on, kind of straightened up. Um, small load, so. Uh, should be able to run a long time in the event power goes out, which doesn't happen that often. So, uh, going to uh, demonstrate the front filters here. Do that right now. Hang on. All right, you can see here uh, how they slide in. Um, I've just made these little brackets, I guess is what you call it. Um, so they slide right in. I think I've got it going the right way. Yeah, airflow that way. So, <laughs> there we go. First one in. And so there's a little gap here. This was, uh, I woke up several times in the middle of the night thinking about how I was going to do this. What I did was, 
made these that would fit in the channels. There's a little overhang here. So it ends up going right over the edge of the filter just like it would in your house. That should give me a semi-airtight seal. So uh, I'll put the, uh, got another one down there, same thing, and the rest. I've got one on top, um, but I'll show those in a second as I, whenever I finish. Okay, so uh, here's what it looks like with, with everything on. You can see right here the trim overlaps it. I mean, I don't really care what it looks like, but it makes it look halfway decent. Uh, like I said, I tried to get all the... Uh, cracks that I could with caulk. Um, <clears throat> see up here, got a filter there that's coming through the top. Uh, the side, uh, the other side is exactly the same so it's sealed up here. Um, this is the back. Got a filter here and another filter here. So it's five filters in the back side or the, the side, the other side that you can't see is completely sealed up. So. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first woodworking project that I've done where I didn't really have a plan when I started. Um, had to change it several times because of the size of the servers. Um, and uh, trying to figure out how to um, bring the uh, filters uh, far enough out this way to, to get away from the server. So, hence the this little system right here. Um, mostly screws for the 2x6 frame. Um, actually all screws. And then all the panels were just uh, bride nails. Quarter inch plywood for these panels. And uh, quarter inch plywood for these. These little frames I uh, cut down with a table saw. So uh, It'll sit here and uh, hopefully run for a long time. It's pretty much running the whole house now. Uh, the uh, uh, the entertainment portion, movies, music, um, all the documents that we have. Every it, basically everything is encompassed into here, and the cloud, of course. But everything's right here. Everything runs right here. So hopefully dust will stay away. Got a little mini data center. That's it. Later, guys.